Hello and welcome to part two of my video tutorial, um, Liquify Color Correction uh, video series. My name is Jay Kilgore and I am a professional fashion glamour photographer, portrait photographer, artist, whatever you want to call me. Loser, uh, that works too. Um, um, if you, this is the first video that you've seen, I have a couple of other videos um, that deal with Liquify tool and stuff like that. Um, as the previous ones, these videos are being brought to you by the National Association of Professional Photoshop Users, um, or otherwise known as PhotoshopUser.com, as well as Wacom Tablet. Uh, Wacom Tablets, and you can get to them by going to www.wacom.com. Um, if you're not using a Wacom tablet, you're an idiot. No, I'm kidding. Slightly. Um, this um, video, we're going to cover color correction. Um, we're going to do it very quick. Um, it's going to be pretty much cut and dry and nasty and uncool. Um, I'll most likely put up a full, in-depth, advanced color correction how-to on my one of my websites, probably on www.tossthebox.com. Um, that is my photography um, forums page. You can also find more work on my www.jkilgore.com. Other uh, J A Y K I L G O R E dot com, and um, my photography workshops webpage is www.coloradosupershoot.com. Um, all one word. Um, we're gonna jump right into it. If you take a look over here at my layers pa uh, palette, I have three um, layers already. Um, here's what the image looked like from the start. I did a liquify to it. If you take a look at her area right here, her backside, I just added a little bit more shape, took a little bit down. Then um, if you take a look at the bosom region, I just did for fun and giggles a little quick go over. I apologize if you've already seen that video. Um, for this next video what we're gonna do is looking at this this looks really red this was shot with a Canon EOS 20D um, and it was shot in JPEG um, this is what happens when you let your children play with your uh, camera um, so I wasn't able to fix it in photo in uh, camera raw so I have to do it all by hand um, I'm going to create another video on how to work an image that's shot in JPEG so you can lose as little information as possible but we'll do that a little bit later when I look at this picture I see that it's really really red in nature whoops I guess we zoomed in on the good part right um, it's really red in nature um, and that's because the white balance we have some conflicting um, primary colors here our strong colors we got the gray backdrop which doesn't look gray because the pink top is pulling um, the reflection from the light and all that stuff into the camera so, so the camera needs to decide which you know white balance am I going after so it chose the most dominant one so I'm gonna bring back her natural skin tone um, or I'm going to attempt to if you haven't watched the other video or if you don't know when uh, I work on separate layers for everything so what I like to do is um, first I'm going to make a new layer so I uh, use on a PC hold on the alt key drag that down it's gonna pull up this little duplicate layer box and from that box what you're going to do is you are going to um, you're going to uh, rename this uh, sorry about the phone ringing but uh, I'm going to when I'm editing a picture the first thing that I want to do is I want to get rid of anything any fake artifacts that are on there um, and that is normally the yeah uh, is normally the the first thing that that we have um, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold down the control U which brings up the desaturation um, first I'm gonna do just a general overall desaturation I'm gonna get rid of a lot of those colors so here's a picture with this is the picture the way it came out of the camera here's what we're gonna do right there looks a lot more usable looks like a lot like something that we can um, go ahead and you know use right off the camera but we're not going to um, when you're editing a photo 
the first thing that you're going to want to do is pay attention to your yellow and magenta. So you want your yellow to be about three percent more, three to six percent more than your magenta. Um, so I'm just going to bump up the red just a teeny bit for saturation as well as the hue. Just bump it up just a little teeny bit. The same goes for the yellow. We're gonna bump up the hue, or I'm sorry, the saturation just a teeny bit, as well as the hue. Um, if you take a look at her eyes, she's got absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous eyes. So we are going to, um, I'm gonna bump up the saturation of the blue as well as the magenta, um, because her eyes kind of borderline on both of them are cyan I'm sorry um, maybe not cyan because cyan is the opposite of red right ha, 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 ha. no we'll just go with blue we could boost cyan but we're gonna introduce colors if we do that and that can be a whole different problem so with that we have a nice desaturated photo here's what the photo looks like when it came out the camera here is just with the desaturation. Again, you can tell a huge difference between the two. Um, we're not done yet. We got one or two more steps. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to desaturate. I wasn't holding down the Alt key, so I have to go in here and name it. Go and name it manually just by double clicking into the box, and they'll give you that option. We're going to stay working out here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. We're going to go over to images, or to image rather, adjustments, color balance. It's going to pull up a box here that's got our main primary colors and their opposite twin evil brothers. We're going to adjust the red just a little bit here. Like right there, it looks a little too red. Um, I personally like my images a little bit more warmer than, say, the next person, the next photographer. Um, but it's worked for me in some of the magazines that I've been in, so I can't complain. Um, so I'm going to bump up my yellow a little bit dramatically. Um, then um, I'm going to come over here and check, make sure my yellows are a little bit higher than my blue, my red. And as you can see, I'm about 28, I'm about a little bit even, so I'm going to boost my yellow just a little bit more. And then take a look over there. We got. 31 to 31, 40 to 38, so a little bit more on the yellow, and to me, I think that that looks pretty gosh darn good, um, for skin tones at least. Um, as you can see, it kind of changed the the color of the backdrop, kind of made the, the backdrop a little bit more yellow, ishy yellow. This is something that can be easily taken care of by creating a mask. Um, I can go into a little bit. Uh, I'll go. I'll create a second video, another video for masking. But as far as skin tones, stuff like that, we are good to go. This is something that, with the exception of a few little things, like a couple of stray hairs here and there, and I would like to get it to pop just a little bit more. But for all practical purposes and tints, this is a good enough image to be delivered. Um, again, um, if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, um, you can reach me at J-A-Y-K-I-L-G-O-R-E dot com, Colorado Supershoot dot com, or uh, TossTheBox dot com. And I want to thank you for spending these couple of minutes here with me, and hopefully we'll see you again. Thank you.